of sudden hair is in my line of sight again. Absolutely. And she can see it, right? She is she's the one. Sunday evening too. All these Sundays were on Sunday evening because I didn't feel too bad in me, but I don't want to be safe. It's a sore throat. I got my, I'm going to see how I'm feeling in the morning anyway. I got Monday. I felt too bright. I thought it was hurting a little bit, but I noticed that it hurt when I cough or if I should sneeze, which was happening. So I'm like, all right, this is odd, but I had some propofol. It literally looks like a wellness potion over here. And I've made some potion to garlic and orange peel tea. And that's really been working out for me. And I'm taking Tylenol, soap. Like I said, I have this stuff called. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to call my doctor. And I'm going to see, is it okay for me to take the propofol, right? I'm calling the office slow because showing up Monday is a holiday. So I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, you know what, whatever. As the day progressed on Monday, I still was not feeling better. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to call out Monday night and I'm going to get it over to um, Tuesday, which I did. So this morning I went in there and I'm thinking, um, no, you know what? I'm calling Miss Sharon. I'm like, you know, I think you should sleep in the living room because I'm not feeling too good. And I think I need to take it because I know that I'd never felt like this before. Also, what I've been eating is fruits. So I went to the doctor today and I asked, can I keep stuff here? And I told them that I wanted a COVID and a flu test. Flu test came up negative, COVID test came up positive, and I suspected that it was indeed COVID. So I'm like, oh my goodness, whatever. I asked her what she um recommends. She gave me an anti-nausea pill that dissolves on your tongue, and it was a little spray, which this is not gonna work out. And then um I've had my humidifier going. I had these 1200 mile gram nutrient and then I bought some liquid IV at the store because normally when I would go out and I would drink and I would be poop faced I was able to take the liquid IV and it'd be completely fine for me like a minute later but obviously I'm eating lots and lots of fruits so um yeah oh and I had some Gatorade hair um Yesterday when I was feeling funny, I'm like, you know what? I should order some Target delivery, get some fruit, get some Gatorade just in case. Because even if it is the flu, you're going to need to be hydrated and get the electrolytes or whatever this contains. So I bought 12, which is good. So far I've only had two because it, it tastes funny. I still have my scented face. I can taste the fruits and everything, which is so grateful for that. But I feel like it's because I am also vaccinated. the Johnson single dose I got the booster I just didn't get the flu shot yesterday but when I go back on Friday to test because I have on Saturday to test because I have five days at home um they said I could test on Saturday and send me the results or I could test on Monday or I could come into work on Monday and they will test me then call it off but I'm gonna just go out here Saturday and test because this is way more convenient for me and I also need to see how I feel on Saturday to make sure so, um, yeah, that's all that's been going on. I've been really stressed out, like, whatever. Work job, what happened? This is what happened to me in the morning. And it's funny because even when I'm at work, I'm interacting with patients. I am being very careful. I'm wearing my N95 mask. I was just talking to one person. I think because he called me to check on me because they didn't see me come in last night. And they're like, at this point, I'm like, I, I was saying you're not coming because you would have already been here and you're not here. So I was telling her how I felt tell her that I too thought it was COVID so I'm going to go get tested and I said this is what I took the initiative to not go into work Monday night and get tested first based on how I felt because imagine me having this and like going there and exposing whoever to it because since I start working like I look for my stuff like I want to see my boss and see if I'm in charge and my stuff like that or like we just pull it down a little bit so we're able to breathe or get exposed to all those people which not great because this is basically COVID Day one, 
um, once you've engaged with the Project Love Project to make sure that you consider the video that I think is positive. So five days of quarantine starts today. Then I wanted to let me sit down because honestly, I do not have the energy to stand and too much is going on. I wanted to come in and update you guys about like day two and day three. Today's day three of testing positive with COVID. I went to the doctor on Tuesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Out of breath, I have COVID. Yesterday, after um, you know eating some of the fruits, which are the only things I can tolerate at the moment, and even in the morning um, on Tuesday, I ate some banana, and the banana and the water that I drink came right back up. But when I went to the doctor, she was basically saying that because of the buildup of phlegm, and the banana is so thick, like the banana just wouldn't survive staying down which is so debilitating but like whatever anyways i wash my hair and i have it in these two braids which is why i have a hat on because i look absolutely insane but that isn't even the point here but um yeah yesterday i spent most of the day in the bed just like i did the day before yesterday i had the worst coughing attack just the entire time it wouldn't go away no matter what i did i started taking some robitussin and some um some Robitussin and some Mucinex because I wanted to um, contact my other doctor to see if these things were okay. She said they're fine, so I started taking them yesterday. I was wiped out. Sleeping, because the Robitussin that I have is the nighttime one. It is what it is. I'm not going anywhere anyways. So I slept for most of the day, and then the afternoon when I woke up, like in the evening hours, I had a, a bit of an appetite and I asked mister to bring me a uh, Philly cheesecake however he took too long and I lost my appetite so I still have it hopefully I have the appetite for it today because he was taking forever I end up having to buy some halal food which I ate half of it don't know if I'm gonna feel for the other half today or not however I'm gonna put it in the fridge so yesterday was just a, a series of like coughing my entire lungs up running to the bathroom all the time and um sleeping 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 so if anything i feel well rested in terms of like sleep but i still feel so tired in terms of like my body my body feels so weighed down mm -hmm. this is what i have left on the plate from the fruits that i ate yesterday i'm gonna throw these out because like i'm just not gonna eat these again i somehow feel like how sick i was yesterday is on those fruits and so I just shouldn't eat them no more. I'm currently making some more tea. So I've been throughout this entire process, I've been drinking ginger and garlic tea. And sometimes I put like the lemon, um, the orange peel inside of it too. And I will sweeten that with honey. So I've been drinking that. I don't know if it's been helping, but it is what it is. Um, I bought this pair of sandals on Amazon. It's Sam Edelman and I absolutely love that brand Sam Edelman. This one is like the denim color and like white. Um, I bought it because I, I thought we would be going on vacation somewhere tropical but it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening anymore. It's definitely my size. Yeah it doesn't look like that's gonna be happening anymore and I bought two but I guess I'll always have them. But um, yeah very different but it's so cute and i think i paid 15 dollars for this i think it was 15 dollars because of the design either 15 or 20 dollars because of the design so um yeah and i bought these little fridge magnets so i put um two up on the fridge with like a little picture and stuff i've been trying to stay out of the common areas as much as I can. Of course, Mr. Um, is in the common areas when he's home. If I don't feel like eating anything, I have to come out and make the tea. So I have to be out here at some point. I just opened the bedroom window so that the bedroom could air out a little bit because I feel like for the last two days I've been cooped up inside there and I just want for it to be 
you know, as fresh as it can be, honestly. Um, I have to go back and test in two days and see. Um, my manager said if I'm still positive, then I get five additional days. Which I feel like whoever came up with this five-day rule is the dumbest thing in life, but you can't argue with the people who are setting these rules. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to make some tea, figure out what I'm going to eat, and I'm back in the room in bed to take my vitamins and supplements. I should be getting a package today, too, but the other day when I got the food delivery, oh, I went downstairs to pick it up, and I kid you not, I feel like just going down the stairs really, really wiped me out. It, oh, God, it was bad. And I bought some Tylenol, and those will come tomorrow. Because if nothing else, I've really been cutest pair of PJs. <laughs> Always stand for a cute fit. Also, I feel like if nothing else, I've lost weight throughout the last couple of days. Because honestly, I haven't been eating um like that. I haven't been, I've barely been eating. So definitely lost some weight there. But it's okay. We'll take this slim as much as we can. Right now, however, I would prefer to not lose weight, but it is what it is. You can't win them all. So my birthday is coming up. My birthday is February, and once a year, I normally do something for myself. Um, this year, I'm doing it for my birthday. Last year, we did something for my birthday, too, but this year, I'm doing it for my birthday. So I bought myself a new uh, MacBook because the one that I have, I've had it since 2017, and I bought it refurbished on the Amazon. Right now, it's moving a little wonky. I'm still going to keep it. Maybe I'll give it to my daughter or something. I don't really know. But um, I needed a new one. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that for myself um, this year. So I bought it. It's quite literally like a little bit more than the full price of the phones. So I bought this little case on the Amazon to put on it when it comes. It's so cute. I'm not going to open it until it gets here. I think it gets here in like a week or so. Hopefully quicker than a week. But like, it should get here soon. So I'm excited about that. Um, Yeah, that was the last thing. So we're going to make some tea. And I don't really feel like eating anything right now. So I'm going to just re-up on the fruits. Because when I don't feel like eating anything, I could have those with me in there all day. And like munch on it the entire time. While I take like the supplements and stuff. God, I'm out of breath. I can't. I'll, I'll see you guys later. So I have my fruits ready. I have some kiwi, strawberries, mango, and some tangerine. I was gonna do an orange. Maybe I'll still do the orange and put it here. And I have my tea. I'm gonna get a bottle of water and a bottle of Gatorade, and then I'm gonna retire to the room for the rest of the day until I have to pee or something. Mm -hmm.